Hello, my name is Pastor Joe and this is today's video devotional. Recently, me and my wife bought a new vehicle for me, a new truck that uh, I had had my last one for so many years and I almost had 200,000 miles on it. It was time to get another one. So uh, we got a new truck, which I don't normally do, but one of the features that it had on it was something I never had on any vehicle before, and that was a rear view camera. And it was kind of neat because every time I would put the car into reverse or the truck into reverse, it would just automatically pop up on the screen what was ever behind me. If uh, there was a toy or something in my way that one of the kids had left, I could see it. If there was somebody walking behind my vehicle in my blind spot, I could see it on the screen. And, you know, it was kind of handy to be able to drive backwards and be able to see stuff like that. But it was also difficult to be looking at that screen and trying to judge correctly how to steer and how to go in the right perspective in the right way. Sometimes in our life, it's the same way when we try to live our life looking through the rearview mirror if you have an older car or looking through the rearview camera if you have a newer car. Living your life based upon what is behind you is not really living. Basing your life on what is ahead is all about what God wants you to do. Yes, we need to remember all the things that God has brought us through. We need to remember our shortcomings so that we can honor God with being our strength, our weaknesses, so that he can prove himself mighty and strong in our lives. But God doesn't want us living our lives based on a rearview mirror or a rearview camera. He wants us full tilt ahead, straight ahead, forward, leading and guiding us every step of the way. God never leads us in a rear view mirror. He always leads us in front of us. He is always in front, going before us into battle, leading the way. Just as David went before Goliath, God was in front of him and he ran with abandonment towards the giant because he had faith to believe that God was going before him. And because David had faith to believe, David was victorious that day. David wouldn't have been victorious if he would have just relied on his past successes or all of the things that he had done in his own strength or his own might. But because he kept God at the forefront and he looked ahead and saw what God was wanting to do, David received the victory. Receive your victory today. Look forward to what God has for you. Follow his path and his steps for your life and you too will have a successful Christian life. Have a great day. Greater things have yet to come.